Welcome to the Rory Academy YouTube channel, where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. Today, we will focus on the power electronics technology associated with Tesla Model 3. Um. On the power electronics technology associated with Tesla Model Y. Tesla Model 3 uses silicon carbide MOSFETs for its central inverter. It consists of 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs from ST Microelectronics with a custom package designed for it. Each of the silicon carbide MOSFETs is rated at 650 volts and 100 amperes. The Tesla Model 3 uses a three-phase two-level inverter topology with an input battery voltage of 400 volts. The conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. As mentioned previously, the conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. In this case, a conventional two-level inverter structure with four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device to handle the high currents through their inverter topology convert the direct current DC from the high-voltage battery pack into a three-phase alternating current AC that the drive units use to power the wheels. The Tesla Model Y utilizes the same inverter topology as a Tesla Model 3, which consists of 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs from ST Microelectronics with a custom package designed for it. Each of the silicon carbide MOSFETs is rated at 650 volts and 100 amperes. The Tesla Model Y uses a three-phase two-level inverter topology with an input battery voltage of 400 volts. The conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. As mentioned previously, the conventional three-phase two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. In this case, a conventional two-level inverter structure with four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device to handle the high current. The four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device in the inverter is switched on and off by the gate source voltage applied to the gate terminal of the device. Based on the information extracted from the datasheet, the device is entirely switched on when the gate source voltage is within 10 volts to 25 volts. When the four MOSFETs parallel per switching device have the appropriate gate source voltage applied, the voltage across each MOSFET will be 400 volts due to the input battery voltage level of the Tesla Model Y. Furthermore, current flows through the MOSFETs when switched on, while the current stops flowing through the MOSFETs when switched off. Therefore, we have a voltage rise when MOSFET is switched off, and the current falls at that instant with a slight delay. During the turn-on transition of the MOSFET, the current buildup consists of a short delay time, followed by the current rise time. After the current flows through the MOSFET, the device's voltage falls to a small on-state value with a voltage fall time. The two peak spikes are illustrated to represent the turn-on and turn-off transition. The smaller peak represents the turn-off transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET at that instant. On the other hand, the higher peak represents the turn-on transition and the energy dissipated in the MOSFET. The turn-on and turn-off transition is superimposed on the current rise and current fall instance for better illustration. In the next series of videos, the power electronics technology deployed in the other Tesla model brand will be addressed. Remember to push the like button, then the subscribe button, and press the notification bell. Your comments and feedback are greatly valued. Thanks so much for your time and support.